everyone and welcome back to the sighting lab. Now you're probably asking, Harvey, why are you in a tent? My question to you is, why are you not in a tent? That is of course in all seriousness because I have journeyed far and wide uh, to make it to the spiritual home of Grand Prix Racing and I am in fact at the TT circuit in Aston. Now it's Thursday, um, I've spent ages trying to get here um, my flight was at 10.30 this morning, um, it's currently raining, uh, which is why I haven't been filming so much of the, the, the rest of the day, um, but uh, we are here in the tent, it's all set up with, uh, well, the stuff we're going to need for the next, the next four days, um, and we're also going to see um, some insane Grand Prix action, uh, so follow me. As we, as we journey through what it's like to go to a Grand Prix weekend. Right, a little bit of Thursday night uh, scram, nosh, whatever you like to call it. Um, it's a catering service. It's it's pretty decent actually. For chips, curry and sausage it was four euros and then the beer was five. It's not seen like that at all. Um, We'll do a taste test at least with chips and curry because oh oh I brilliant. Good morning everyone. It is currently Friday the twenty third of June. Um, it's just gone seven o'clock. Um, I can't lie. Yesterday I was so shattered from travelling. Um, I went to bed at like eight. Um, somehow it was able actually to sleep through the morning. Um, but yeah, we're here. It's, uh, it's first day, practice day. Looking very much forward to it. Um, yeah, just going to try and find a spot for breakfast. Uh, hasn't opened up. Although I've got to say, I'm conveniently placed like right next to the shower blocks. Um, shower facilities are very, very good. If you're ever going to visit us, and this is the junior TT track uh, camping, um, showers are very good. So uh, that's one thing I'll give them. Um, I could not go uh, without a shower in the morning. So uh, there we go. But yeah, practice day. Looking very much forward to it. Um, I've met a few guys here, um, so it's all decent, all decent crack, all decent fun, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Right, I found my way to the top of a hill, um, where I can see the track. I think I'm literally right opposite my grandstand. Um, um, yeah, currently on the back straight. Um, it's looking lovely. First session starts in like, 15 20 minutes so uh i think we'll find a good vantage point and uh yeah have a look i don't know if you can hear that that's the uh the honda um we're about to start the motor three session but i think they're just uh preparing the bike uh morning checks it sounds insane i never bloody realized how loud moto three was only 250s, I think. Um, here they come now. Right. Right, it's getting nearly 10 o'clock. I haven't eaten yet. There's no open, so I'm absolutely starving. Uh, motor tubes. That's the start, so. Uh, could watch that. Um, come on, Hanson. Have some good scran. Definitely not nutritious, but um, got myself a waffle. So uh, yeah, we're gonna sort it for now. Right, so Moto2 finished. Uh, Jake Dixon has only been bloody fast around the day. Um, he must be waiting for me. Um, Marcus Ramirez had a pretty hefty crush. <laughs> Still in the second session, I might head down to one of the straights just to see the absolute speed. When I tell you that Aston is packed, there's literally everything. Um, I suppose they say it's a bit of a festival, um, definitely. Party atmosphere is great. Um, there's definitely some cool things to see while you're here. Um, so, I'm currently in the BMW garage. M1000RR that they use uh, in Superbike and um, I believe it's the official safety bike on MotoGP as well. Um, so yeah, definitely a cool thing. There's the Ducati thing down here. Uh, I saw it earlier, I took a photo of it, but I'll get it on video because 
Why not? We have Cassie's been a goal I think for our promo colours. Uh, got both boys numbers on there. It's so it's so good. It's so sad. The Red Bull rookie's currently on, um, so might uh, head down um, from the grandstand and watch sure him come by. Uh, you can hear them now. There was a bit of a crash earlier that was loud as hell, uh, but I was outside the grandstand. Um, but let's see if we can go in and catch some uh, rookies' action. Uh, we've moved into the start finish straight because well, it's covered. Um, I'm absolutely boiling, um, which is a bad sign because this is the, the least hot for three days. Uh, so we're gonna stay here for Moto E, Moto 3, and Moto 2, and then I'm gonna go around on the straights uh, for the longer straights for Moto GP because I just want to see like how fast they go. Moto 2 has uh, finished. Uh, Good boy, Jake was on top again. I have a feeling it's going to happen, um, but we're going to move around to the different stands to see uh, the final one of session. Uh, mostly you want to get on the banks to the back straight. So, yeah. So, then the day, end of practice day, um, I believe uh, Dixon, Zazeki, and. I'm not sure who was on top of Mojo 3, but uh, I am burnt. Um, I didn't realise. Uh, bring sun cream. Uh, I do have sun cream, just put it on, but I didn't realise it was supposed to be the top. Um, it's nearly 6 o'clock, so I'm going to try to do something soon. Uh, definitely going to go and eat at 6 o'clock. Uh, probably eat in the camp, and then may go into town later, so. Who's got a beer? This is 4.50, the rest of the town they're selling them for about 7. Uh, so, go to bars, not uh, not gazebos. Literally just coming to camp. More people coming around. It's got a beautiful bikes around here that people have ridden in. Also, it's a beautiful sunset, so yeah. Everything you can see, they are beautiful, some of them. Absolutely gorgeous. What's the story? Morning glory. Um, it is currently um, 7.40 in the morning here on Saturday, uh, Saturday 24th. Uh, we're here with uh, bread eggs and ham, so we need two out of three of the Dr. Seuss reference. Um, yeah, looking like a good day. No one's really up yet, but Moto 3 is at 8.40, so about an hour from now. So I'm going to eat this grand. Um, I didn't have breakfast yesterday. Meet the scram and then head off to the track. See what see what it's all about. And uh qualifying and sprint day. What uh, what's the time? It is a full on eight o'clock in the morning and people are already starting to come in. I think it's gonna be a busy one today. Um that's just a good thing. Uh, <laughs> if they're this busy I can't imagine what something will be like, so we're back uh, in Gear 2, aren't we? 15 minutes until what's the free practice. Uh, but yeah, definitely going to be an interesting day. Yeah. So, qualifying done. Pole for Zucky. Uh, Pecco and Marini also on front row. Marini, despite having crashed earlier in the lap. Quattararo uh, was very, very good, uh, despite you know his blows this season. Uh, he starts in fourth, I believe, uh, and then I believe Vignales is fifth. So it's Nordicati, all Italian, front row. Uh, 
hopefully get a little bit of jumbling up in the race, maybe some interesting results. Who knows? Uh, that's in to play for later at three. Uh, it's time to most of three, I'm obviously qualifying, uh, but I'm first going to have a little look around the track and try and get some food. So. I only just got a nice cheeky cup for tomorrow. Um, that's for Jake. Um, if he doesn't win, um, I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. We have just got ourselves some lunch. We've got a burger now. It was 6 75 minutes. You pay 9 50 if you wanted like tomatoes, cheese, the whole shebang. So I've just got the plain bare bones of a burger. So, uh, does the job. Race one done. Went for Ferrari. Um, he took Torres off the line and Krumanaka was third. Could have made it up to um, Torres if he had more, a little more laps. He was definitely on pace to her, but oh well. That's uh, supposed to be race one sorted. Uh, we're going to go find another vantage point to watch uh, the qualifying sessions for. Moto 2 and Moto 3, so let's go. Championship leader Danny Holdano has qualified last. He has qualified at the back of the grid. Um, for a Sato, Adrian Fernandez, Dennis Antrim, and Kaito Tobo throw. Holgado is at the back of the grid. What? What on earth? That's uh, Dermot Yorza's first Moto3 pole. Uh, definitely very interesting. Um, gonna see the full grid later, but wow! Dermot Yorza, some going. Um, no pole for Jamie. Um, Roger Lopez won it. Um, Carl Sanders not allowed to the yellow flag. Second's still good, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. I may have moved back to the spring race, but I'm currently sat on the stairs in the main grandstand because it's covered. It's absolutely boiling, I'm burnt to bits, I'm burnt to shit. Uh, so yeah, just uh, we'll try and spot some. <laughs> Um, I haven't even talked about that. Uh, Bear's holding off Peko. Very, very good. Fabio getting his first sprint podium. Uh, and Yamaha, actually. Um, so third place to them. Um, yeah, good sprint race. Um, I was just at the, the meet and greet. It's a live show. It's still going on. But uh, we've left. I said hi to Danny Holgado, Ayumu Sasaki. Uh, Ike uh, there's some bigger uh, stars going on there later. Finally we finished P4, uh, I think we have a great race pace, so hopefully we can uh, improve position and uh, get that podium tomorrow. But are you a bit disappointed maybe? Yeah, yeah I am disappointed, yes. You went out with our uh, big friend here. But we're heading away, we're uh, head back to camp and then decide what to do for them. This city never fails to impress me. This festival has been wild. Just beer, music, um, it's a fun fair, there's drag racing scooters, it's, it's insane. Um, honestly, if you are here, head down because it is just amazing. Good morning. Join me on Sunday, the 25th. June. Um, we are currently at breakfast with the same mod, uh, ham, bread, eggs, uh, also got some cheese that night today, so that's because it's going to be 
Uh, I'm gonna cry really cheesily uh, when Jay Dixon wins. That was a horrible joke, please take that out. Yeah, it's gonna be a big day, big day. I bought two cabs yesterday. I bought the gas gas and the VR46 one. So maybe uh, Dixon Bezeki win, I don't know. It's got to happen, surely. Just saying. Right, so um, I threw away the cheese. It wasn't actually a nice addition. Um, I have sun creamed everywhere. I'm not trying to get burnt again. Um, so I've sun creamed possibly everywhere imaginable because it's going to hit 30 today. Um, my legs have actually tanned, which unexpectedly. Um, when I get burnt, I do tan quite quickly afterwards. Um, it's just not nice for the, for the day that's in it. So. It's just currently 8.20 in the morning. Walmart doesn't start until 9.40 and people are packing. I feel like it's people just without seats who are just trying to find good spots. Uh, so I don't blame them, really. I don't know how many are supposed to be here uh, today. There were 46,000 there yesterday. So I'm expecting a humongous amount. Um, I also got stop searched. Because um, basically, I've got four bottles of water with me because... I wouldn't be seeing Des trying to buy a bottle of water in here because it's like three euro fifty. So I thought I might as well fill up and then bring him in. And basically, I used the resealable beer bottle, these plastic ones that were still in for one fifty in town. I drank the beer yesterday; it was horrible. But I put water in it. Big mistake because they thought I was bringing alcohol into the into the ground, which you're not allowed to do. Uh, Oh my god, that's a surprise. I had to come out and come back in again because the gate couldn't take me all the way around to the stand. Um, so the guy's just done that for me. Anyway, we're back here. Um, it's looking good. Very busy already. Uh, it's only like 20 degrees. I like this. <laughs> it's gonna get hotter though, that's the problem, so. There is not a cloud in the sky, it is just completely clear. Um, shame for me if it was the sunlight like that, but oh. it's gonna be a good day of racing. So, we're uh, half an hour out from Walmart, and Mark Marquez is not riding uh, today. Uh, brilliant. Um, I mean, yesterday was. Terrible, absolutely terrible. I know he's injured. <laughs> this is it's not good. It's not good. My war will be starting. First on track action of the day. Oh, I'm so excited. That's warm up done. Fabio fastest. Um, his foot did look like it was causing a bit of trouble. I can see on the screen here on the TV. He's definitely like he's definitely in pain. I don't know if he's just riding through it. Maybe it might affect him later, who knows. But he went fastest. Um, the Amar's going really well around here, so. Maybe, maybe even Fabio in for the win, so that'd be uh, pretty cool. We need to get a good start, but yeah. But then again, it's not a set three, it always is. Um, got half an hour now till most of the two, so I um, don't know what we might do. Get some drinks, maybe. This is now time for a meal of the way. By we, I mean just myself. It's the most hotel race. race. Um, I have a feeling, I have a very good feeling, it's going to happen today. Starting from seconds, across an Arbolino at six and ten, respectively. Get a good start, which doesn't usually happen. But you're more likely to from second. I 
have the feeling. I have a good feeling. A really good feeling. Glad to be a bender this, this year. What? champion uh, so uh, that was the last track action on the weekend um, no, it's been it's been absolutely crazy um, I don't know what to say to be honest it's just been a weekend from, from heaven really um, if any of you are ever considering attend this amazing venue then do it just just do it because it is honestly there was 105,000 people here today which is incredible. Uh, so if you ever want to do it, just do it. I, I, no second thoughts, 